Another way we can go about selecting elements on our page is using visibility and content filters. And what we're starting off here with is a div. And inside the div, we have five paragraphs and we also have a span tag after them. And a couple of the paragraphs have some span tags nested inside as well. So let's just get to the examples. That's gonna be the easiest way to learn this. And what we're gonna do first is we're gonna select any P and then we're gonna do colon, contains, and then news inside it inside of it. And what that's going to do is it's going to select any paragraphs that have the word news inside of it. So let's um, reload the right side and you'll see that we selected three paragraphs and all of them have news inside of it. So unlike some of the other selectors we looked at, um, this is definitely a very useful one and you can do some highlighting, you know, paragraphs based on text and some other things like that. So moving along here, um, in the next example what we're doing is we're selecting anything that contains um, this text of Heyo and we are giving it the CSS background color of yellow and what you're gonna see is this doesn't work exactly how we want it to and I'm going to refresh the right side here and you'll see that everything turned yellow so um, I think we can ex inspect this and see what's going on here and you'll see that um, you know this is the only JavaScript we have going right now and you'll see that we have spans with the background color of yellow um, you'll see all of the paragraphs have a background color of yellow here. Um, if I move up, the div has a background of yellow, the body does, and even the HTML tag. And the reason why this happened was, um, you know, what we wanted to do was select any paragraphs or um, spans that contain this word. But because the HTML um, has all of those things nested inside of it, including that word of span, it's going to get that applied, the body is, and all of them are going to get a, that applied because they also have um, the word heyo um, inside them even though it's deeply nested. So basically um, this one is going to be totally useless. Um, so let's go to the next one where we can modify it um, a bit to be a bit more useful. So what we have um, in this next one, I'm just going to refresh here and we're selecting P that contains this word and then comma and then span that contains this word. And uh, you can see the result here. Um, that's a lot more useful. So um, definitely uh, put the element before it that um, you're looking for, um, not just anything, or we're going to be um, selecting everything on the page. Let's go on to the next one here. And this next one is also not very useful. Um, what we're doing here is we're selecting P and then colon parent. So what this is going to do is it's going to select any P tags that are parent element. Now, what you would want this uh, selector to do is to select any p tags that have some elements nest inside them. Like, for example, if we look at the top here, we have we see this p tag and it has a span nest inside. So we would think this is a parent. And we also have another one at the bottom here. Um, it also has a span nested inside. So we would think that these would be the parent p's. But actually, all of the p tags here are parents um, because they all have some text inside them. And uh, let's just refresh the right side and you'll see that all of those got selected because even though some of them don't have a span tag inside or any element, they still have text. So that still makes them apparent. So I don't think this one is very useful. And let's move on to the next one. So I'm just going to refresh the right side here and you'll see we have uh, two selected right now. So um, what's happening here is we're doing P colon has span. So this is going to be a lot more useful than the last one we are looking for any p tags that have a span inside them. And then we're doing uh, .css and changing the background color. So you'll see that um, that first one had a span tag in it and the last one also had a span tag. So um, that one's pretty useful if you ask me. And let's go on to the last one here. And this one's just a bit more specific. Here we're selecting p that has a span inside of it, but that span has to have a class of emphasis. And in our markup here, we only have one instance of that. Um, this, P, this P tag right here, we have a span with a class of emphasis. So let's refresh on the right side and you'll see that's the only one that got selected there. Finally, I wanted to talk a little bit about visibility filters and I'm just gonna uncomment this first line. And what we are console logging here is we're console logging basically the match set of P colon visible. So we're looking for any paragraphs that are visible on the page. So let's just refresh here and let's go over to the console and you'll see that what we get back 
is we get an array of objects and we have five elements in our array. Um, I'm just gonna uncomment this next line that shows um, that we definitely um, have five uh, paragraphs here. You can see uh, five paragraphs are visible. And basically what we have here is we have an array of uh, five paragraphs and uh, you know you can see paragraph one there, paragraph two. So uh, what this will return to you is all of the paragraphs that are visible. Um, we can just experiment here a bit and maybe um, just take off that P there and that should, uh, let's see how that changes now. Um, we have 11 elements now. The H2 is visible, the body is visible, the HTML. So we have um, 11 things now, but um, I just want to select the P's here. And um, you can see that's what that does. So um, the reason why this is useful is it would allow you to operate um, only on the elements that are visible. So it's very possible in your markup that you have you know, some elements that are hidden, um, some stuff that's display of none, and you're not going to want to do stuff to those because you know the user can't see them anyways. So I think that's one, one reason that um, this uh, colon visible is going to be useful. And that's basically all I want to talk about in this lesson, and see you in the next one.